So before I end this video, I just wanted to show you guys some decor I got for the bedroom as soon as I finish it, which will be in part two. But I got this floor um, mirror, uh, full length. It's about, here are the details of it. So, and this was 60 bucks and it was from Home Goods. Um, it's a pretty decent size mirror. I pretty like it because the detail of it is exactly what I was going for for my room. So I thought it was a good deal and I needed to get it. So I got this new mirror. And then also from Home Goods, I got a pillow, which is like mustard colored, very pretty. And it has like feathers inside. That's what it has here. And then it was $15, pretty pricey, but hey, you know. <laughs> And then I got another throw blanket, which is white and it has like polka dots on it, but it's like comes up and it has a little fringe on the bottom. Super pretty. This was 20 bucks. Sheesh guys. <laughs> the only thing I got from TJ Maxx was my absolute favorite. It is $25, which is like insane, but I fell in love as soon as I seen this throw blanket. It is pretty thick. Such a beautiful color and I had to have it. So I'm hoping that those colors are gonna be like the main colors I will have in my room. Maybe a little plush pink, but we will see. So these two items are from Target. I think this was like $30, which is just for the comforter, which is like insane. And then I think this was like 20 bucks, which is still insane. Um, it's just a basic white. I know it's a twin. I downgraded from a queen to a twin, so it's kind of sad. But this room is not that big, so I needed a smaller bed. But it's fine. So these two items I got from Five and Below. This was five bucks. I desperately needed a laptop holder, desk, whatever, and it's soft down here, so it won't like be all hard because it is wood. And then I got a wicker basket for $5 also. Um, it's very pretty and this is also like how my theme is gonna be. So I also went to Old Time Pottery and I got this throw pillow. It's just very soft and a cream color. That was super pretty because the little tassels on, on the edges. And this was $12.99, you know? And then my favorite piece ever, I've been searching so many stores because I wanted to do like a boho theme in my bedroom and I want like a wicker type of rug. If I could take this out. I finally found this at the very last store that I went to. Let me try that to like this. Unorganized. I think it's super pretty. So excited for it. Um, it's like very, oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at it, and it was $19, and this is a four rope, so I can put it right in front of the mirror, and it has little fringes, I think that's the word, on the edge, and super excited for it. Um, two other things, I went to Home Depot, and I bought some more plants, my babies. This was only $4, how pretty. And then this plant also was $4. And I cannot wait until it dies. No I'm joke, I'm gonna try to keep it as live as possible. And that's what I pretty much get got. And there's gonna be a lot of old decor that I'm trying to use up because you know, gotta save some monies. I really like this wall color, but it's not going to match any of that. And I don't wanna base my room off of this wall color, even though it's very pretty. And I was really debating whether or not I was gonna do it. But anyways, that is it. <laughs> So guys for the next few minutes you will just see me prepping the room for a painting i did buy some plastic covering for the floor at dollar tree which i didn't know until my sister told me my sister-in-law um, right now you see me just taking the covers off the sockets because i don't want the covering to be painted on and i am going to be honest with you guys i am not the best painter and I was pretty much sloppy this whole time, but this is actually the first time I've ever like actually painted a full room. So it was quite um, time consuming, sweaty, and very um, annoying. <laughs> so that's what you're gonna see me next few minutes, just covering the floor up with this plastic um, 
plastic covering. I didn't even start painting and I'm already like sweating so bad. I don't want to do this no more. We should have just kept this color. <laughs> Anyways. So and that one's all white. And then I need one more coat here because this was a really dark wall. Um, I only need one coat for this wall because it was eggshell, so I didn't have to do much. But yep. So my niece decided to do a good idea and just combine all the sample paints I got, which was three, and just combine it all together because they're kind of like were similar colors anyways. So in order for me to save a little bit more money, I just combined it all. It was like I was stressing out because I didn't think it would cover the whole wall, but it ended up covering the whole wall, especially after me learning some tricks where the paint with the roller actually comes out a lot more than what I thought. So I did my thing and covered this whole wall with just three samples and I didn't need to buy another gallon of paint. time at all honestly you're right so i am done with the room oh snap sorry i have to go back here and like straighten that out because that would drive me crazy the unevenness and it kind of went to the other wall you can't really see the color on you know on camera well kind of if you compare it to that but um hopefully it dries better but it's all right um, I have to do one more coat on this, especially on the top, and then I am done, kind of, almost. <laughs> so this is where you guys see me just putting my bed together. It was from Amazon or Walmart. I will have it linked in the description box below. 
but um, it was a twin size bed frame. It didn't come with like a headboard or anything, which is fine because I'm gonna have a floating shelf above me anyways, which you guys will eventually see me do. here you guys will see me do my DIY floating shelf at least the staining part of it because it literally took 24 hours or more to actually dry so don't let the can fool you because this did not dry in just one or two hours of dro dro like it <laughs> it did not dry until 24 hours later so that's why it's this portion of the video and then eventually towards the end you guys will see me actually put in those brackets that you've seen and this wood stain came from my sister garage so I saved a little bit of money with that part and I did three coats so it could get that brown really that brown that I was looking for because the first coat eventually you'll see wasn't as dark as I wanted it so I needed to do two more coats Such a magic feeling when you tore down my walls I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all But look at us now, I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Strangers again, again 
have to do like a part two, but this is how it is so far. I might switch it up as soon as I get the mattress, which comes in on Monday. Um, so I think I might switch this over to that side and scoot this over a little bit and then put the mirror over here. I'm not really sure, but this is it, how it is right now. Um, that's where Mikey is gonna be. And then this is like my little office area. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put all my makeup and such. I'm gonna put the floating shelf that I did right here. And then the next video will be me decorating. So hope you guys stay tuned. Hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss that one decorating video. And remember to subscribe and that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. So this is the final part of doing my DIY floating shelf. As you guys see me doing, I am just pretty much eyeballing it, which is probably not a good idea, but I wasn't really feeling it this day. So I just used those brackets and just nailed it right into the wood. Make sure you um, measure the nails before you actually put it on the wood because I did pick a bigger nail and it went through the wood but it was fine because you really what you really didn't notice it but that's what you see me do here doing and eventually you'll get a loading shelf just like that um i didn't stay in the bottom because i don't know what i was thinking sometimes i don't think but hey uh, it still came out pretty cute wait until you guys see it all nicely decorated i am pretty excited i did want a longer floating shelf that that was just too much work so i got like a medium size to you know put above my bed and right here i am just putting it on my wall and that's how you that's how i made this floating show whatever happens doesn't matter i know we can sort it out alpha and i'll make up even if we go a lot of breakers down i know we are alpha and i'll make So now we are at the end of the video and this next part two will be in just a few weeks posted because I am just not in the mood to decorate. But look at this hot mess. After I put everything in the room that I was going to keep in the room. Oh gosh, you guys wish me luck. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Remember to subscribe.